Today I'm going to share my time and money saving tip for shopping at the grocery store. Welcome to the Water Bucket Homestead. If you guessed a grocery list, then you got it. But let me share with you how I curate my grocery list to save time and money at the grocery store. The first step is to go over what is inside your home. I will look through my spice cabinet, my pantry, my prepper pantry, the refrigerator, freezer, and the backup freezer. Once I look at what I have in stock, then I can determine what meals to make, what am I missing, and make the list from there. So first up, I am stocked up on all of my flours, baking soda, nuts, and oats. And then I'll look at my spice rack and I can notice that I will probably need some basil and some parsley. But I'm going to double check my backup spice section before adding that to the list. On the top shelf of the cabinet where I store my spices, I have a basket where I will store extra spices. In this case, you can see I have plenty of peppercorn, paprika, and cinnamon, but I am going to add another thing of basil and parsley. Even though there's basil in there, I use basil all the time. Next to that spice rack, I have a five-year supply of Himalayan salt that I found from Costco. So we're good on the pink salt. I'm going to take a notepad and I break up into four sections. In the bottom left corner is where I put all of my non-perishable goods, so I'm going to write down that I will want basil and parsley. Keep watching and I'll explain the quadrant grocery list shortly. Now we're going to look in my freezer and refrigerator. So in the freezer I do have walnuts. I will want to purchase pecans later. And I'm going to just check. I have some fruits and vegetables. I have plenty of butter. The meats I will buy from a local farmer, but I just wanted to see what's in stock so I know what to add to my list. I keep a minimal amount of condiments in my refrigerator, like ketchup, mustard, jam, and almond butter. I also have walnuts and pecans I store, and then I have an abundance of pickles. I will make some more though. My fridge is a little bare. I'll get my eggs from the farmer's market. I do need to make the beef, tomato, cabbage, bell pepper mixture meal. I have some extra vegetables to process and some bacon to cook up. I will pick most of my meats up from the local farmer, but I'm gonna see if I can get some sausage at the grocery store. Now I'm going to scan my prepper pantry to see if there are any items that I'll want to stock up while I'm at the grocery store. I'll also check my laundry area to see what kind of products I need from there. I do know that I need some toilet paper and some Kleenex, and later I'll write down that I need some rubbing alcohol, peroxide, and glass cleaner. Let me explain to you my little quadrant grocery list format. So I break it out into a quadrant where the top left corner is produce, so any of my fruits and vegetables or items that I would find in the produce section, such as nuts, maybe specialty items, flowers, those types of items. The top right corner is meats. That's where I'll add my eggs, meat, and anything I'd get from the meat section. The bottom left corner is all the other food items in the aisles. So I'll have my spices, baking goods, pasta, any of the items that you would find throughout the grocery store in the aisleways. And then in the bottom right corner is my non-food items, and that's where I will list my toilet paper, Kleenex, cleaning supplies, laundry, personal care, those types of items. And I found that following this little quadrant is the flow of my grocery store. When I walk in, I first walk into the produce section and there's some specialty items and I'll walk around, I'll go to the meat area. And once I go through the meat area, then I go into the main part of the grocery store with all of the aisles and it's all of the processed food first and then at the end of the store will be the personal care items, toilet paper, and those types of items. Next up I'll grab my coupons. I may not use them this round but I like to bring them with me to see if I can find these items on sale and then I'll stock up on them. Once I'm done with my list I'll fold the paper in half and then I'll fold that in half again to make the four quadrants. What's nice about this is I can fold it up and place my coupons in the little pocket and as I walk through the grocery store I can hold this together and look at each section as I navigate through the grocery store. I did add the Ezekiel bread and English muffins to my list. I wasn't able to pick up my peroxide and I did pick up a bag of pasta. I didn't check the coupons this time but I will the next time I go to the grocery store. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. 
comment down below and let me know if you would like more money saving tips for grocery shopping. Remember all my produce and meat is gonna come from the local farmer's market or farmers. For more tips and tricks on how to be self-sufficient, subscribe so you'll never miss out on a video. Until my next one, have a great day everyone.